drop your weapon. Okay, so I see Morgan, you're starting another one of your masterpieces here. Got safety glasses on. Then I get an eyelash in my eyeball. So what what are you calling this pipe for the... Uh, this is the beginning of the uh, ram horn for the Dolmar. Bull horn, you mean? Oh, yeah, bull horn. Yeah. Bull horn. Bull horn. No bull here. We Just could call horn. it the long horn. The long horn. Watch the sparks, friends. So Dumpster just says to me, you need to take welder, Bucking. Well, I do, yeah. <laughs> but I, I, so Morgan, are we still going to try and build my contraption I'm thinking about? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But like, <laughs> that's going to have to be another day where you wake up and go, I'm building that muffler. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Yeah, as soon as I get this truck finished. So in three or four years. <laughs> Look at the guy. So he's building this truck. This is what he does. This is this is where his his. But then I come over with a, a power saw and mufflers, and he starts putting mufflers together because he's a metal art man. All of a sudden, his channel starts growing. People start wanting to buy mufflers because that's the beautiful thing about YouTube, is it 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 shows people's craft. Like I say, uh, and I've said it a lot, and I will say it again. You have to work very, very hard to be broke in this world today. Don't you, Morgan? You, do. you really do, friends. And it's just, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. And another story I'm sticking to is Dalmar's dogs are not good. <laughs> are those the factory dogs? Yeah, they are, and they're not good. The only beautiful thing is they're exactly the same. There's an old set of Vibergs. My buddy next door sent them to me. Look at those. Don't tell me this guy didn't. Who can tell me what those are? Who can tell me where those holes came from? They're on both boots. Who can tell me where those holes came from? They're the same on both boots. Who knows what that is? It's fine. Get out of my way, I'm filming. <laughs> That's just so you can handle it. Yeah. Look at that. It's pretty hot. It's pretty neat, this welding thing, man. I'm telling you, I, I'm... It's just neat. What you can do. Somebody asked Morgan, I think, I don't know who it was. They says to him on his on his channel. So a hundred bucks will do, eh? Yeah, there's a hundred bucks right there. A <laughs> hundred bucks, <laughs> friends. This isn't. It's, it's not for starters. He's one of them. Okay, th this isn't hack hack. If if I mean you've seen some of my mufflers, pretty scary looking. Uh, it, did, Morgan, can I show that bit of tooling or no? Yeah, sure. Look at what he look at what he's done. Look at what he built to actually make this these things happen. Show them more. I mean, look at what he's. You know, look at that. So that's craftsmanship. Um. pretty cool stuff to me i mean it guys building his own dies i mean that's what it's all about i want somebody to step up to the plate with this freaking ram horn mark are you gonna do that i know morgan is Ooh. <laughs> well i'm not 
not. No, he's not. He won't do it. Not you know why, round. Mark? Not doing the round one. Because you did it, Mark. That's why. Because he's a man of etiquette. I've had a few people reach out to me and say something about this ram horn. Guess what, Mark? I know you're setting up your shop. You will be forever in, in, in glory in my mind with that freaking ram horn. Straight goods. Um, I can't even... It's just nuts the way that thing works. So you see a lot of people on the internet. Um, as a matter of fact, now that we're speaking like this, which is funny that we're even doing that, Mark, I love you, buddy, and your brother. Um, we've shone some light on Mark at, at Bunyan. Well granted. Um, he didn't ask for it. He just was very gracious and humble. And I like that. Hard working, gracious and humble, and your time will come. Let other people do the speaking for you. You don't have to speak for yourself. That's not how it should be. I mean this stuff. I'm not, I'm not flapping. I mean it. I mean um, oh, it's quiet in here now, too. So there's no $100 mufflers on Wild West Garage. Okay, friends. So so this is Morgan's dad's shop. Morgan is in the home he grew up in. Okay, friends? And this is the kind of guy Morgan... I mean, he's he's got all the... I, I couldn't even imagine what's... I mean, look, what what's that? Some guitar up in the back 40 there? Like... You know what I mean? Like, this is a neat hey, show. Hey, hey, I, I think I showed you that. Look, look. That, that would interest your people up there. That, 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 that orange thing up there. I see that. You know what that is? Looks like a jack. That's the timber tipper. Yeah, timber tipper. It's a backpack. You carry that in on your back. That's, that's right. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, friends, um, I'm walking around. Morgan brought these boots to me the first time he come by, right there, okay? Now, as you all know, and, and, and friends, this is the straight, straightest goods you'll get from what we had here in British Columbia, especially Vancouver Island. Boots, as far as, I'm talking boot construction. Okay, I've talked about this before. I'm talking about it again. Check this out. Check it out, friends. So I see these and I'm like, what the, friends. Okay, so I know what these are by looking at them because of the design of the, of the, you know, the pieces of leather, the vamp, you know what I mean? The uppers, go ahead. Like I, I, I can know, I know what these are. They're a nail down construction. That's all that was here for us, friends. This is why boots are, this is an old school logging boot. This is what this is. Morgan's dad was a, was a longshoreman and he worked on the booms, okay? Friends, you know what these are? They're freaking Dayton's. Look at Dayton boots. Okay. See the O N T O N Dayton boots. <laughs> They're gorgeous. One, two, three, four, five big brass eyes. See what they, they look at, friends. Brass, big eye at the top. Okay, that is the epitome of what where we come from. Celastic. Those boots are probably 60, 60 some years old. 60 years old. Yeah. Right there, friends. And I'm 57. Yeah. Look so, at it. They're at least 60 years old. They are 60 years old. Yeah. Dayton boots right there. Dude, you, we're going to have a fight. <laughs> they won't fit you. They're sevens. They won't even fit me. They're size sevens, friends. To me, look at those. Don't tell me this guy didn't. Who can tell me what those are? Who can tell me where those holes came from? <clears throat> so.
So that's why it's hard to make boots for me. Straight up. That's why it's hard to make boots for me. And Nick's boots, I don't have my Nick's on right now because I probably couldn't tie them on by the way my arm is right today. So I'm down at Morgan's. There's another set right there. Viberg, same construction, newer style cork, same construction, nailed down construction. See the toes? Hey, what was he doing? Why are both his toes worn off? Who knows why? These are just murdered. I know what it used to happen to my boots. Somebody make a guess. Leave, it, leave a comment in the comment section what you think happened to them boots. I know what happened, but I want to see if anybody else can know. Did you see the Daytons? They had the same beginnings of the same hole, just not as much time. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment, you know, you know down below there. Yeah. And another thing. Right? Yeah. Morgan's boy just bought this van. It is hilarious. I love these things. It's a 79 Chev van. Look at it, friends. GMC. <laughs> I love these old suckers. Hey? So let's see what's going on in here. Morgan's making some progress. He's got his mindset on this on this bullhorn muffler, friends. And uh you know, it's amazing what I'm realizing with these mufflers, friends. The ones that seem to work the best are the ones with a travel zone. And what I mean by that is like ones that like they, they have a, like a water slide. I talk about a water slide. And here's Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Hi, Billy. I love being called Billy. <laughs> Hi, Billy. This is the Domar. We're actually making this pipe for the blue saw, friends, not this saw. I'm gonna put the screw in the top this time. Yeah. Old Morgan in his realm. A magical touch. Woof, 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 woof. Upright. The ticket is. It hits here, and, well, you can see what it does. This, I like the square, uh, Morgan. This is actually a really nice muffler. I better go in here. Oh, I heard a pilot light just kick on. Get some heat. I better come over here and see what Morgan's doing. Morgan's building a pipe for the dolly. Dolly Parton. <laughs> Dolly that parts your, the wood. Your kids are in there sitting by the wood stove. Oh, yeah. Morgan has a very nice home with uh, a lovely family life. His kids are still at home. Not all of them. Two of them are. Two of them are. Two out of the four. Two out of the four. And uh, his wife is just basically Susie Homemaker. <laughs> Isn't she, Mark? She is. She, 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 she's adorable. And... Uh, that was one thing that when I met Morgan, both of us uh, kind of connected on the fact that we just, we, get, we do everything for our families for one, and without them, it, it, nothing, really would, nothing really would matter. It wouldn't, there would, be, there would be no push to do what we do and what we've done. So I, uh, I like supporting guys like Morgan. I just do. And what he does. I mean, he's a craftsman. We really need a third screw for this thing. I wonder if we could, can we steal one somewhere? What do you mean? You've only got? I've only got the two screws. These are all bigger, right? They are, yeah. 
You mean for, for building purposes? Yeah, I just like to have that third screw in there, but I think I think we're okay. Just so everything's lining up. Lined up. Yeah. It's, it's right down the middle more or less. You look good, Mark. It looks like it's off a bit, but that seems off to that. Exactly. Bit, so look good. So friends, we're building <clears throat> what we call and what Morgan wanted to call the bullhorn. Bull so you think about the size of the saw, right, friends? Now look at the volume we've got here already. So you've got, you know, this this alone, friends, this alone is some volume. It is. That's Even though it's a header pipe, that's some volume. So you got to be careful now what you, what you do uh, to exit like that's that's good size volume right there Now Morgan's using man's best friend the vice grips the vice oleos <laughs> It's Pretty primitive work, isn't it, Mark? The old it, school it is. metal work. It's, 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 it's slow and tedious. Yeah, but the the when you look at you know what I mean, friends. Like look at the weirdo. It's my happy place. It is, isn't it, Morgan? It is. This is his happy place. My happy place is on a power saw. I'm actually starting to like what I'm seeing here, to be quite frankly, quite Frank Stankly. <laughs> yeah? So, friends, you see he's got the horns there, the metal art horn design on the back wall. And then you come down here and you just look at what's going down here. Bullhorn. And he's, he's moving this man now. He knows dinner's calling. <laughs> dinner it's it's actually very interesting and we won't create friends we won't create a ton of volume in the top cap will we morg because we've got well, lots of volume be, there's gonna be a fair amount there is there Cause, cause, uh, are you just gonna cap right over top yeah so i'm gonna put these on top so. yes oh yeah no that's gonna be good okay. so maybe though what i suggest morg if like you could almost cut them down a bit to, yeah, oh yeah, but it's got to, to lengthen. It's got to meet up with that. Yes. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, of course. So, it'll, it'll work. It will work. It will work. What an idea. And friends, again, like, look at his freaking tooling. He just, it, it, it's not just, you know, there's a lot to it. It's definitely got that sci-fi, psycho, killer robot look to it. Drop your weapon. You will be assimilated. Definitely think it's got the flow happening though, man. For sure. I'm not going to go crazy cleaning this up until you try it out. Yeah, he said that, friends. He, he said that, but he couldn't. He couldn't do it. He cleaned it up and it's on his channel already. That Everything's up and it's rolling and... and the only thing is that, here, I'll turn this like this. There we go. The only thing is, is that it, uh, again, I, I, I can tell by looking at it and by the sound of it that it, it's going to work. It, it, it just is. Those saws need a longer th throw. They just seem to need it. I'm kind of excited about that one, actually. So we'll probably pick it up tomorrow. And uh, I reckon the arm will be close. We'll get it fired up and... At least get a bar and chain on it and maybe throw it through something in the yard. We'll see how it goes. But I, I can't wait to, to feel it. So, uh, Morgan, again, buddy, thank you. Thank you so much for all that work. And I know, you you know, you, I tried them and test them for you and everything. But still, that's that's a lot of work, brother. That's a lot of work. And I appreciate it. And I want you to know that. Friends, let's give Morgan a big hoot and a shout out. Friends, work hard. Be honest. Be kind. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.